Over the last five years of Wicked's Wicked Reptiles, I've said a lot of mean and rude things about corn snakes, and I'll probably never get one. Maybe. I'll tell you why. Today we're talking about why corn snakes, maybe you probably shouldn't get one. My name's Adam. This uh, doesn't have a name yet. You're watching Wicked's Wicked Reptiles. Stick around. Okay, so obviously, I actually do have a corn snake now, and there's a few reasons that I didn't really have one for a long time. And I think if you've been watching the channel, I have had corn snakes in the past. I had a really great one named Corn, who unfortunately passed away last year, and I just didn't want to get another one. And there's a few reasons why. But last week, I went to the reptile store, I did a little trade for a Brazilian rainbow boa, and then the guy says, oh, by the way, I brought you another snake. Why? Just because. I know your other one died, and just brought me this, which is a beautiful Tessera butter corn snake, and I'll tell you what, maybe one of the most beautiful ones in the world. But you're not here for genetics. You're here to have some bald guy in his basement tell you why you shouldn't get a corn snake. First of all, just too many options. I just think there's too many to choose from. Now, one of the coolest ones I've ever seen are palmettos. And there's actually a palmetto available at the reptile shop where I go, where I got this animal well, through a trade or for free, I guess, technically. So I don't know, should I buy the palmetto corn snake? They look like this. Should I buy it? Let me know in the comment section. There's blood reds, pides, like there's so many really cool ones. Uh, and also spoiler, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know. I have a bunch of basically pure red pied corn snakes. If you want to see more stuff that you don't see on the channel, follow me on Instagram. Not only that, but they come in different sizes, being that males don't get as big as females. So this is a full size, I believe to be a male. I haven't popped them yet, but just judging by other characteristics, it doesn't really weigh very much. And by the way, I noticed that stuck shed basically everywhere. He, he's about to shed and then he tried to weasel his way in my chair. I was trying to take B-roll on the chair and then he literally got into the mechanism and now his uh, shed is all messed up, but he's gonna shed tonight. Too many options is an issue. I just think that there's too many options. It's too difficult and now Paralysis, paralysis, like when you go to a really nice restaurant and they have so many good things and you just don't know what to get. Well, corn snakes are kind of the same way. Another reason that I just refuse to get a corn snake is they're too active. They just, they move around too much. Now I just told you that little anecdote about how they were in my chair. And if I, this thing went in my chair, there's no way to disassemble it. It's plastic, it's a plastic housing. I would have had to break it or wait for them to come out. So what I like are animals that aren't very active. I like berms instead of retex. I like ball pythons, spotted pythons. You guys know I love leopard geckos. And of course, my co-host is Diamond the Bearded Dragon. So Diamond the Bearded Dragon, this beautiful guy right here, you've seen him in basically every video. I film with him because he's easy. Now, corn snakes, I'm making a video about why you shouldn't get one and saying because they're too active. Well, maybe you like that. Maybe you're someone who wants a colubrid, which is what they are, by the way. Colubrids are a family. Matt will put a little description right here. Thanks, editor Matt. And colubrids in general are gonna be a little bit more squirmy, active quick, fast, maybe more unpredictable just in their movements. Now this isn't always the case. And in fact, I've had uh, corn snakes, corn for example, that I had before. This is a, a video of corn, a really amazing snake. R.I.P. Corn. And what I love about other species, oh, and if you hear the, the banging and scratching, there's just tortoises over here. That's all, everything's fine. Is that other species are a little bit easier to handle. Even a Burmese python, I can put you know, a 13 foot berm on me. And I'm sure it hurts, you know, my shoulders more to hold it up the entire video because it weighs so much, but it doesn't really move that much, right? This beautiful animal right here who doesn't have a name yet, let me know in the comment section what his name should be. I think it's a boy. This guy does move a little bit. Now he's pretty cold right now because I am cooling that room off for breeding purposes. So I'm light cycling and uh, I'm making it cooler in there for breeding purposes. So he's a little bit cooler. When he's warm, he moves a lot more. Another reason is they're too cheap. What are you gonna do with all that money burning a hole in your pocket? How are you gonna have all this money in your pocket not spending it on reptiles? When you buy an animal like this, this animal you could probably buy for a hundred bucks, 200 bucks, something like that. You can get corn snakes basically for free. If you can find a normal corn snake, they're free dollars and free cents. I've literally bought corn snakes for $10 before, okay? They're super duper cheap. And even the cool morphs are really, really cheap. Palmettos, for example, th this is an example of something that's not cheap. A palmetto corn snakes, uh, I think it's 500 bucks or something like that that I see really commonly. But before there are you know, 900. Last year, they were 900 bucks. Now they're five. Next year, they're probably going to be three. So it's not a good investment for sure. But of course, this video, if you haven't got it already, these are silly reasons. You should all get corn snakes. I love corn snakes. I'm so glad that I have one. But I had a bad experience one time. You can watch the videos from 2019 if you can stomach the bad audio quality and terrible presentation. And I didn't know how to edit videos back then, but I had one that would just bite me all the time. And that was my first corn snake. And therefore, I just didn't like corn snakes. But it turns out they're actually pretty amazing and they're pretty darn cheap. So even if you want something cool like 
this, you could probably buy it for a hundred bucks, 200 bucks, something like that. And you can buy really cool morphs for 50 bucks or 60 bucks all day long. Another reason I refuse to get a corn snake is they're too placid. They just never want to bite and strangle and kill ya. I know that I should always knock on wood as we hold a snake and say that. They're just too easy going, too easy to handle. You really want your kid to be able to not be afraid of snakes? Well, get him a corn snake. If you really want your kid to not be afraid of snakes, corn snakes are the best snake to introduce them to. Just because they're not big, they're not scary, they can't hurt them, and uh, they're not gonna bite them. So just in my opinion, just too placid. And you guys watch YouTube, right? You know that the spicy snakes are the cool ones that get you lots of clicks, and those are the ones therefore you should want, because why the heck would you want something placid? So therefore, don't get a corn snake. You're not a cool dude if you're not getting bit and struck by retics. So I should get a full-fledged retic instead. Just to be perfectly clear, I am totally joking. Don't get a full-fledged retic. Another reason that I don't want to get a corn snake and refuse to is they eat too well. I mean, don't you want to thaw out rats and then have your animal not eat the rats and get super frustrated every week? Who doesn't want to do that? Corn snakes are going to eat basically every single week. So I mean, instead, why don't you go ahead and get a ball python and keep it at the wrong temperature so that that way they never really eat. I don't understand the point. I mean, why don't you get yourself, I don't know, a smaller version of a hognose snake, for example. I mean, that's why I love hognose snakes. I'm literally wearing a hognose snake ring. So it must be true. I truly do love hognose snakes. So thanks to our friends at Coppertis for sending this really cool ring. Feels really comfortable. It's got these really cool gem-like eyes and the upturned snout. It looks very much like a real hognose snake. And you can get one too in whatever size you desire. If you go to the link below, uh, I do get a small commission. So thank you very much for doing that. Appreciate it if you hit the link. And uh, it's really good jewelry. I have a bunch of it. Thanks Coppertis for sponsoring part of this video. And the link is in the description. Really comfortable. Looks like an actual hognose snake. Uh, and uh, anyway, we're talking about corn snakes, so let's let's do that. So overall, I mean, there's so many reasons that I refuse to get a corn snake. Now, obviously, this video is silly goose stuff. It was stupid. Corn snakes are really amazing pets. They're absolutely amazing. I mean, I love them. There's a care guide right here that you can watch if you want to. Of all the snakes that there are, they might be the best beginner snake for most people. Now, this snake obviously has a little bit of an issue with uh, its scalation, right? I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like maybe a rat got him or he's missing scales for some reason, but whatever. It was a free snake. I need a name for him. Uh, I got it from a guy who's reputable, I'm pretty sure. So, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I love the snake. I'm really happy that I have them. I'm really happy that I got back into corn snakes. I've got four of them now and maybe a fifth one if you guys tell me to buy that palmetto. I know the people from the reptile store will be watching this and telling me to buy them. But in actuality, I think it's cool to make silly goose videos like this because I hope that you all can get the idea of sarcasm and a joke, right? These are amazing animals and there's really no reason why most people wouldn't want them. I mean, if you're one of those people who it's too boring and you want to go get something more exotic, I get that too. But it's a North American animal that you can find really, really easily, even in Europe, right? I know I'm in North America and I make these videos mostly for Americans because that's who my audience is. But if you're in Europe, you can find these pretty darn easy. Obviously, if you're, I mean, it's an infinity symbol. Another reason, infinite reasons to get a corn snake. Okay, I think I've rambled long enough. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Thanks to the Patreon supporters. You guys are freaking amazing. Discounts on merch, videos early, one-on-ones. Uh, -on I got one of those tomorrow morning. All that for as little as $1. And if you're not a Patreon supporter, that's okay too. Thank you for watching. If you hit the like and subscribe button, it doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps the channel. Because I do videos on Mondays and Thursdays, that means I'll see you in the next one.